Right, welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel guys. We are episode 7 of The Undesirables and unfortunately the episode today has been the most requested fish and yeah, I'm, I don't know why I did but we've, we've done it. We've done some terrible things. It's uh, didn't feel good about any of the process, didn't feel good about getting in the water for this fish, didn't feel good about lining up the shot for this fish, shooting it then gutting it, it absolutely stank when I got it, it was like gutting a rabbit, it's just a smelly process, and then getting out of the water in like a busy headland with this fish as my prize catch, yeah, anyways, so we have, you probably already know what it is. Right people, so you asked for this so many times and well this is it today is the day that um you guys have requested this the most on the undesirables oh i'm going out to target rock kale <laughs> so yeah um it was requested so much so it's just gonna have to get done and yeah rock kale here we come um i don't know what strategies i'm gonna deploy on these fish they're incredibly hard to hunt <laughs> they're not they're so easy but they taste so bad right let's just uh let's just get wet so as you can see down on the bottom and these guys literally just want to be shot please shoot me shoot me they are yeah God, I felt bad, like I couldn't even pull the trigger on these guys. <laughs> so here we have another one, who again, he's just like, please shoot me, like he just wants to get shot, and yuck. Poor fish, just have to do what I can to make sure that it's, it's as quick as possible. Um, they're prolific everywhere in New South Wales, so you won't have any trouble finding them. Um, especially from like, Sydney or Newcastle down, I think. Anyways, just stone it, get it dead, and then, yeah, return to the surface. What do you guys make me do, seriously? Look at the poor thing. Anyways, it's the, um, it's the rock tail. So those of you who have watched the channel for a while, um, I have actually eaten one of these before on a survival mission through the Royal National Park and it, um, it wasn't great so I wasn't looking forward to this experience any more than I was the previous time that I ate it. Um, so it's the Rock Kale, it's got loads of little nicknames, Sea Carp, Cocky Kale, Cocky, um, all sorts, it's got loads of nasty names as well for its taste and its smell. But um, yeah, most people know it as a, a rock kale or a sea carp. It's absolutely disgusting. They do grow really bigger than this. They grow up to about 35 centimeters. And this guy is a small model because of I'm very doubtful I'm gonna eat the whole fish. As with all these undesirables, I'm actually really not looking forward to doing this. With all the undesirables, we always try some sashimi and try it raw and rate it raw. And unfortunately, I'm gonna do the same for this fish, so yay, so glad I do a YouTube channel. Right, let's go. So we're just gonna come in and cut into some sashimi, so. Bro, it's like yellow. <laughs> So, I'm not going to eat a whole heap of this, but here we go. Rock cow. <laughs> Bro, it's so powerful. <laughs> it's such a little fish. Um, it was okay at first. Like, I, I thought, oh, this isn't too bad. This is probably like a, a four or a five. Like, not, not bad at all. And then, yeah, it just got powerful, like it just <laughs> whacks you. That is fishy, that is grim, that is like dead fish. Um, yeah, that's a 
solid one out of ten for sash. It's disgusting. Definitely do not recommend. Cool. Let's cook it up. Bro, that's fucking grim. <sighs> Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're going to try and give this fish some Australian flair. We're going to do it on the barbecue, which will be the first undesirable on the barbecue. See how it holds up. I got heaps of batteries. Something about capturing embers that just looks cool. So yeah, to barbecue this guy, we're basically just gonna chuck some lemon slices in his little hole that I created when I split him open. <laughs> and um, so just stuff those in there with a whole heap of chopped parsley and stuff. And yeah, just literally make a nice little, little hole for him to rest in. There's not much of a cavity, so I can't actually stick too much in here because of, yeah, he is only a, a small little guy. And then um, we're going to add the olive oil, salt and pepper. Happy days. So, there we are. Can you see that good? I'm just going to score him a couple of times. So, one, two, three. Four, and drew us along some olive oil. Yummy, yummy, yummy. He's got olive oil, salt, pepper, some parsley, and some lemon. And onto the flame he goes. To be fair, initial smell, pretty good. He just smells like fish on a barbie so hopefully that's how he tastes just fish on a barbie and i'll be happy all right sweet so we're just gonna whoop, give her a bit of a flip over oh no i lost the lemon i lost the lemon we will chuck a little bit more olive oil on this. Man, that doesn't look too bad. Until you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, is it on? Yep. So, we're done. Let's get this puppy on a plate. Oh. Okay. It's not the smoothest transfer I've ever done. So, we've barbecued the rock cow, the deed is done, and it's time to taste this thing. I just want to say, the smell throughout cooking wasn't bad, alright? It was, honestly, it just smells like you're cooking fish, so that's giving me hope. I'm going to go into this tail section, just because of it looked juicier than the rest. I'm not going to give the skin, ah, uh, I'll give the skin a go. It's going to taste like crap, it's a bit crispy. That's okay. That's actually okay. The skin is okay. We might we might be on to something here. So let's just get in this section. Hopefully no bones. And uh Alright, let's go. I can't believe it. Try some of this. That's not bad. That's it's not good. It's definitely not good. Let's just change the scale of things. So it's not it's not a five out of ten.
but it's, I mean, I'd probably give it a four. I was expecting it to go a lot less than that. Um, okay, let me, let me just try another little bit. I haven't had any beers or anything. Yeah, that's like a four. That genuinely isn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. The sash was crap, and the smell of the fish, everything about this fish made me think it was going to be crap. But genuinely, that's <sighs> that's not bad. What do you know? That's I'm going to go a four out of ten. That's pretty solid, which isn't the worst thing I've ever eaten. And it's not... I mean, I'd serve, I'd serve that to other people. That's actually... I'm tempted to give it a five, but... I don't know if I will. Yeah, that's maybe Johnny. You can have some and, and write it. I don't think that's so bad. Um, so yeah, there you go. The rock kale, the cocky kale, has been eaten on barbecue, and it wasn't that bad. That's crazy. I was expecting it to be way worse. So there you go. So just so people don't think <laughs> I'm making stuff up. There we go. It's still got that smell though. <laughs> It's about to go down, guys. Jeez. That's very fishy. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably sit at like just below five. Just below five? Yeah, just below five. But that skin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a no to the skin, but... Nah, definitely not the skin. <laughs> like, that's... Yeah. <laughs> jelly. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Cheers, Four. Johnny. Four out of ten. <laughs> so, just to sign off the episode, um, I've eaten a little bit more of the rock cow. There's some bits that aren't as good as well, like the near the gut cavity. That's not great. That's definitely a two out of ten. Um, up here, right in the top, that's like still like a four out of ten. I think I'm going to bring it down to a 3 out of 10 overall as a fish just because of, yeah, I spoke too soon. But honestly, this top section of me is kind of like mullet in the UK. haven't eaten mullet in Australia yet, so I don't know if it's, if it's similar, but it's, yeah, it's nothing to rave about, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad as it smelled or as bad as I expected it to be. Maybe I, I expected it to be so bad that my standards were impossibly low, and that's why I'm thinking it tastes good. I don't know, but... Yeah, not bad. We've got squid as backup, which is good. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, drop all your recommendations for the undesirables. Keen to get through them and give them a crack. And yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to all the YouTube sign-off crap. And uh, yeah, cheers, boys and girls. We'll catch you next time. Stay wet, stay fed, people. Oh, am I going to eat another one to sign off? Yeah, bro. That guy is disgusting.